Kim Kardashian is opening up a lot more about her relationship on the latest episode of The Kardashians and revealing how much influence Kanye had over her fashion, even down to her makeup. And at one point, when she stopped using his advice, he said that she looked like Marge Simpson. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been really, really quiet on the Kanye front. I did just see a recent post of his new girlfriend. She got a yay tattoo on her hand. Very much like Kim Kardashian, she really likes his new girlfriend. And I kind of like her too because she's been a little bit more low-key than Jessica Fox. Are we still talking about her? Not me. But as you know, Kanye went through a lot of different antics over the last few months since the divorce, since the downfall of their marriage. But recently, he's been really quiet. And according to sources, they're saying that he is taking care of himself, he's being low key, and who knows, I'm sure he's working on new music. But Kim Kardashian on her show is talking about how much influence Kanye had on her fashion, making her so insecure that she didn't want to make her own choices when it comes to fashion, to the point where she still has, has anxiety picking out her own things. So as you know, the Kardashians' new show on Hulu, they are doing everything to gain and garner the attention of everyone. Well, you're welcome, Kim. Here we are. But it's the comparison to Marge Simpson that really caught my attention. He told me my career's over, and then yeah. he showed me a picture of Marge Simpson wearing something similar. But it also reminds me what I've been saying about Kim Kardashian and Kanye's relationship, that it wasn't one, at least from the world's appearance, of deep-rooted love. I always have been critical of Kanye and the way that he treated Kim Kardashian before their divorce. He always spoke of her as if she was this sort of trophy and not a human being with feelings and deep emotions. He always sort of put her on a mantle of, of just his muse. And it seems as if that's exactly what, what it was. According to Kim Kardashian, she is now confirming that. Fashion has always been something that I've always been really into, but I've never been like the creative. I definitely see what I like, but I've never really been like the visionary. I always just trusted in him, but it's not just about clothes. That was like the last thing we had really in common. I fashions with my sisters, and then I was like Kim Ye. Like who is Kim K? That is the jump. How do I get there without Kanye? If you've been watching the, the Card Keeping Up with the Kardashians for years, then you do recall her reaching out to Kanye even before their supposed relationship was confirmed in public, and she would take his advice on fashion. Look, we're not going to sleep and not realize that Kanye is a genius in the whole sense of the word. Music, when it comes to fashion, he, he has it. He has something. But that doesn't take away from problematic behavior, which we've addressed. We're going to get away from that. But there's still an underlying problematic situation here. So Kim says on her on her show, her reality show, she says, I got to a point where I would ask Kanye for advice for everything, down to what I wear. Even now, I'm having panic attacks like, what do I wear? She tells this to her, her sister, Kourtney Kardashian. Kim says she was so nervous to choose her own outfit for the WSJ Magazine's 2021 Innovator Awards. She opted for a faux leather look from her Skims slash Fendi collection, which wasn't, quote, pre-vetted per usual by Kanye West. She says, Kanye called me afterwards. He told me my career's over. And then he showed me a picture of Marge Simpson wearing something similar. Later on in the episode, Kim explained that she had, quote, never really been the visionary when it came to fashion. Go figure. Did you just appropriate? Never mind. So she says she's never really been the visionary when it came to fashion and that Kanye had a hand in styling everything from her wardrobe to her hair to her makeup. That's his love language is clothes. And we saw him recently do that with Jessica Fox, buying her and her all her friends the Balenciaga bags and 
or the Birkin bags. Y'all know I don't know bags. And he's doing that. He seems to do that. Some may say, oh, that's wonderful. In-house stylist. But some might say controlling. She says his love language is clothes. I always trusted in him, but it's not just about clothes. That was like the last thing we had really in common. I could have warned you, girl, years ago. But anyways, Kim says, I'm trying to figure out like who I am in the fashion world. Who am I by myself? I was like the Kardashians with my sisters. And then I was like, Kim Ye, like who is Kim K? That is the jump. How do I get there without Kanye? Scott Disick chimes in because he has to get a check too, y'all. He says, it's so crazy to me that Kim would ever, ever think or be insecure about her looks because she's maybe the most famous person in the world for being the most beautiful person in the world, he told the camera. So kind of cool to know that everybody has their own insecurity sometimes, but at the end of the day, nobody really does it better than her. Look, there's a lot that we can say, but I don't think any of us did not know that Kanye was the the, the man behind her look and her her growth in her her fashion. If we take a look back to all of, all the things she used to wear, not that they were bad, but they weren't innovative. They weren't influential. You also remember during Kanye's Instagram rants and things like that, he says that he gave them the culture. And all of you said, "Why the hell would you do that?" Kanye is a genius. Kim, I'm sure without a doubt, even though Kanye's not in her life anymore, you had someone influence you for many years. So all of that rubs off on some level. Will you be able to understand what's behind the curtain? Maybe because you were behind the curtain with the, with the man. So it wouldn't shock me that Kim picked up a thing or two from what she learned from Kanye and from being around some other people in the fashion industry. Are we worried for, for Kim Kardashian? No, no. But are we surprised? Not even. All of you have been saying this for a long time, especially about that Kardashian family and how they've stolen, okay, have borrowed from black culture in a lot of ways, not just fashion. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on what Kim Kardashian had to say. And do you think that she should hire Kanye back to do some fashion? Look, they will always be connected. So don't be surprised if Kanye will al allow her some of the genius that's in his head to continue to style her. But sometimes when you let that window open, it's hard to close it. Guys, let's continue the conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.